cheering on a fellow teammate circling the bases at the NLU Sports Softball Combine. Welcome everybody to our second annual NLU Sports Softball Combine. Really excited to have all of you here. A lot of different players from a lot of different teams coming, which is awesome. We also have really great weather, which is a positive for everyone. This is the second year for the two-day event, featuring skills and drills, followed by game action at the Peter Hallman Ball Yard. I'm here just putting in some work, um, working on my portfolio, and just seeing what I could do today, S show some coaches what I got. Madeline Stedman is a 16-year-old outfielder from London. She plays for the Huron Purse Nationals and was one of the 70 players taking part in the Combine. I'm definitely a vocal player. Uh, a lot of the time my coaches come to me and say that I'm, I'm the one that's got to get the team loud and keep everyone excited and um, it head, head in the game. Um, my bat's pretty active. I work on my bunting often and I'm just pretty overwell, like, rounded player. Here is Michaela Lyon motoring around the bases. She had one of the fastest times of the day, posting a 13.26. It was really amazing, actually. I just wanted to like get to the end, obviously as fast as I could, <laughs> um, because I just really want coaches to be able to see that I have speed and that that's like a very strong skill of mine. So yeah. 13.26. The speed, um, I think it comes from my data. <laughs> Tell me about your dad. Um, my dad, he used to play baseball. He played it when he was a teenager. He played it like all his life and stuff. So the moment I was able to walk, he put me right in softball and I have loved it ever since. I absolutely love the combine. I think it's an amazing way for girls to be able to get themselves out there. Obviously coming from like Canada, it's very hard to like go and reach like our dreams and stuff. So. I obviously, I love the Combine, this is my second year doing it, um, and I think it's just so important to like go out and really show what we can do. The players getting exposure and experience led by a group of elite coaches. So some of you it might take 70 swings, some of you it might take 10. Dallas Kipfer is a well-known local softball star from Kitchener and is part of the Canadian men's national team. Kipfer also runs DK Softball, a skilled development program in the region. NLU is doing a great thing, being able to promote the girls around here and giving them the best avenue towards going to the States or staying home in Canada and getting to play post-secondary. Um, so far, so good. Uh, I've been doing exit velo and everything, and girls are, it's been impressive and having fun so far. Being the best version of yourself is something I think we need to start doing a lot more often as, as we're training the youth. Um, being able to be uh, you know, comfortable in uncomfortable situations, you know, being in front of a camera, being in front of, you know, 10 people with radar guns is, is a stressful environment and stressful environments, you know, allow you to become a better player. Um, and for girls that are here, they want to play post-secondary, they're going to have to do this numerous times in their career. So the more you do it, the better you get at it and the better you perform. There's a lot of potential ahead of a lot of these girls. There's, um, just talking quickly with some of the coaches as we're going through is, um, Fundamentals, there is a lot to work on here, but this is why these showcases are important too, getting out and getting more fundamental training. I would say the potential in this area is, is huge. We do well on the national stage and we send a lot of girls down to the States. I think uh, it's just another chance for girls to play out of their comfort zone. They're playing with girls that they haven't played with all summer and sometimes when you get it with the 12-month program, you can get comfortable and uh, not a lot of growth can happen in the comfortable. So they come out here, they're playing in front of coaches that they haven't played in front of. Uh, might be a little bit nervous because there's college coaches or elite development programs here and just playing amongst other other girls. So they got to get out of their comfort zone and still try to uh, play at a high level. A recent Division I graduate was also in attendance providing her insights. McKenna Kelly is from Guelph and this past May she graduated from the College of Charleston in South Carolina. I just want to be able to give back to the girls. Um, I know personally for me it was so difficult to get there. There's so many challenges and I just want to do whatever I can to be able to show the girls like, hey, like it's possible. Hey, you can get there um, and just kind of be a mentor for them and kind of guide them along the way. I would say just honestly be yourself. Um, a big part of it is coaches want to see is you and your personality and obviously on-field performance is really important, but be yourself, be loud, be 
just show your personality to those coaches because that's what they want to see. They want to see who you are on the inside and not just your playing um, on the field. It's it's more about who you are as a person, how you're going to get along with your teammates and all that type of stuff as well. Solid advice from a local superstar. Kelly excited giving back to the young players. When you get to provide that level of expertise and that level of coaching staff to players who have the goals and aspirations to playing at those levels, it's really, really special and I'm excited to hear and see all the beneficial stuff that these players are going to take away. This event wraps up a successful summer for the NLU Combine Series. Ethan Andrew and his team providing outstanding experiences and education for these up-and-coming stars. We're kind of really proud of being able to provide so many different opportunities to so many different athletes. We've had over 250 student athletes across all of our combines. We've had over 30 plus coaches from colleges and universities in Canada and the United States coming to our events, helping out, providing that exposure piece. Um, so we're really, really excited to continue to build on that. And, and we've really been happy with the level of play and the quality of education that all these student athletes and families have taken away this summer.